We're going to take a few minutes and show you how to do a correct splice. One of the most important things you will do in your submersible installation. I'm going to point out, this is a two-wire unit, two positives, and a green ground. This is a three-wire unit, red, yellow, black, and a green ground, which goes in conjunction with a control box. This is not a handle. So when you take your pump out of the box, do not use the wires to lift the pump because you can do damage to the cable and go ahead and actually ruin your installation. This is where we wire the pump in the well to the wire that goes to the control box. This is a three wire unit. It requires a control box. On the splice, you've got some tools that you're gonna need. Wire cutter wire stripper, splicing tool to go ahead and make your butt splice. You're going to have butt splice connectors in this kit. You're going to have heat shrink tubes to make your splice. I'm going to be using a heat gun. Some of you may not have that. A butane port torch. We want you to use butane because it doesn't burn as hot as propane. Propane can start the splice on fire. Consequently, you've ruined it. Best thing to do is cut it out and start all over again. Open your splice kit up. We're just going to do this red wire. You're going to put the tube on the wire. Get the corresponding color. Insert your wire into it. Crimp it. Wire coming from the pump motor. Crimp it. Next thing you do, you slide your tubing up on your splice. Take your heat gun and start moving it back and forth. And what's going to happen, you're going to start seeing some of the adhesive coming out on the ends. 